Hey everyone, long time no see. I know, I know, I know. I'm hoping to really get this channel going um, this summer now that I've got some time off and everything like that. Thank you all for, for staying by and staying subscribed. It makes my heart super happy to know that you wanna support me in this endeavor, but that's not what I was going to talk to you about today. Today, we are doing my top 10 bucket list for this summer. So summer is on us. This is the beginning of June and that just means that I have a lot of time to go and do all of these things as an educator. I have the summer off and so that's where I get to do most of my travel and different um, try new things and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get into the top 10 um, things that I am excited to do this summer. So number one is go to a farmer's market. So I have a very, very small town and well, it's not like a really small town, but we have this awesome main street, which is just, it, it's just very cozy and comfy. And every single Saturday they have a farmer's market full of local food and everything along those lines. Um, local, uh, artisans and wine and all of that and I have lived in Broken Arrow for three years but I've worked in Broken Arrow for like seven and I have still never gone to a BA farmer's market and so I'm hoping that that's one of the things that I can tick off of my list is going to a farmer's market and getting some local goods. I think that that could be a lot of fun to be able to do. Number two is have a picnic with my love. So Aaron and I are engaged and we're getting married in October and I just wanna go and spend as much time together as we can and I think that it would be a lot of fun to spread out a blanket, have some really, really awesome picnic food and drinks and just hang out with one another. I think that that could be a lot of fun going out in nature, not being stuffed, stuffed up in like a, a house or anything like that. I think that that could be a lot of fun and I haven't had like a real picnic in probably 10 years. And I think that, I think that we would have a lot of fun with that. Number three is take a spontaneous trip, which we just did. So that one can be checked off. We just did, we went to uh, Nashville last weekend and it was so much fun. I'll enter in some clips right now, but it was so good just to be in the car and listen to music and audiobooks and walk around a town that we had no idea about and everything like that. I really, really enjoyed being able to do that and, um, do it with my best friend. It was just so good and I, I loved it. So I highly recommend, even if it's like going an hour out of your way, go and have a spontaneous trip where you you take the essentials and then you just go. You, you won't, I mean, you just can't believe how freeing it is to be able to do that. Number four is read a book outside of my comfort zone. So a lot of you guys have come from my booktube channel and if you aren't, I can leave that linked down below, but I read a lot of cozy mysteries and different things like that. Like here are some books that I read in May. Um, but I wanna read a book that's outside of my comfort zone, something that I wouldn't normally pick up. So if you've got a book that you absolutely love, let me know down below and I will try and pick it up and give it a read. Um, I'm willing to try nonfiction, historical fiction, any kinds of books. So let me know down below what is your absolute favorite book that you recommend to every single person who ever asks you about a book. I would love to know what your favorite read is. Number five is go to a concert. I love concerts, especially if it's a band that I absolutely love. And I haven't been to a concert in probably like a year or maybe even two years. I'm not quite sure. I know that I went with my best friend, Brianne, um, to go see um, Breaking Benjamin, but I think that that might have been the last uh, concert that I went to. But I really want to go to a concert and um, everything like that. I think that that would be a lot of fun. The next one is make a 
amazing super summer playlist like with 90s 2000s recent music all together and just have a rocking playlist that I can blare in my car when I'm traveling like everything like that I just I want to make some awesome mixes that I might not necessarily have made otherwise but the music that just keeps me pumped up and excited and so hopefully I can uh, sort of make that on my laptop and um, have some soothing cool hip-hop fun music for the summer Another thing that I would love to do is a girls weekend with my best friends. So as we get older, we have been best friends since middle school. We haven't been able to actually um, spend a lot of time with each other. They have kids and I don't have any children yet. And so it's just our lives are on totally different schedules. And I think that it would be good to be able to basically take some time to, to spend time with each other and have fun and remember that we need to take care of ourselves and not just our family, but that in order to be happy, we need to make sure we do things that make us happy. So I'm really, really excited to do that. Number eight is go to Japan. So Aaron and I are going to Japan at the end of this summer for two weeks. We're sort of doing our honeymoon before our wedding because we want to spend a good amount of time in Japan. And so we're traveling all over. I will have tons of vlogs and footage and things like that on this channel. So if you want to see our trip to um, Japan, make sure that you are subbed and um, following with the notifications and you'll get some really, really cool footage I'm hoping of Japan. Number nine is very, very simple, but I'm still so excited about it. And that is taking a nap on my hammock in the backyard. I don't know what it is about just laying out in the hammock, but I just love relaxing and just chilling out in the backyard with a book, a nice glass of cold water or maybe an adult beverage and just relaxing and not worrying about anything at all. Just being happy um, outside, breathing in the fresh air and everything like that. And last but certainly not least, I want to watch the sunset and I want to watch it rise all in the same day. I wanna watch it set and I wanna stay up all night until it rises. Um, I am a avid uh, grandmother. Like I sleep, I fall asleep at like 8.30, 9, cause I'm an old lady. And I just, I wanna be able to watch the sun go down and watch it rise. So that might be, might be a little bit difficult for me, but I'm hoping I don't care where I am. I'm gonna be traveling a lot this summer. I'm, I've already been to Nashville. Then I'm going to Nebraska and I'm going to California, maybe Colorado and then Japan. So hopefully during one of those trips, I will be able to watch the sun set and rise. So what are some of the things that you want to do this summer? What are What is your bucket list for this summer? Let me know down below. I would love to chat with you in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I want to welcome you into the cozy family and I want you to have an amazing cozy day. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.